What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video I'm going to put to the test this one log campfire and there is a chainsaw cut to like what one, two, three little slits like that all the way through as you can see and this one, this is the burnt, already comes with the fire starter inside of it. Lights with one match. I got a bunch of matches inside here and let's see if it's just lights with one match. Obviously, make sure your one match don't go away, fail. You know, it's probably the best if I lay it like this sideways a bit. And let's see if it slides with one match. Almost? Nope. It is a bit rainy out here, so... You know what? This thing does not light with one match, like they said. But still, once we get it going, let's see if it's going to actually work. Since it's raining, let's get one match, but survival match. That's a much better match. So let me hold it upside down and let's see if I can light it up that little fire starter down there. Definitely don't light with one match like they said. It takes a bit longer than one match. Okay, and it's finally light up right here. As you can see, this piece is burning. But definitely don't light up with one match like they said. I'll just keep this fire starter match on top of it. It will help light up even better. You know what? Another test. It's raining all of a sudden. A lot. Oh my goodness. It's raining quite a bit. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it's finally stopped. It's such a weird weather. It's raining, then it stops. There's a little bit of holes in the clouds so it's a really cool test as you can see the log got a little bit moist but so far no problems looks like the actual log is burning and i think that little bit of rain is not a big deal because that's a hot fire already so that way it's just gonna dry it out at the same time it's getting wet hopefully it just doesn't get very very rainy because i really want to see how well it's going to burn in about an hour and two. Well guys, it took a while to get it going, but now the actual log is on fire and it's very dry log, so I don't have to worry about it's going out because it's really, really hot coals inside of this log. And it burns like a big candle. So you could put a couple rocks over here and put pot over it, boil water, cook. So if you don't wanna make your own one log fire and wait till it seasons, you can go to the store and buy one of these for yourself. And as you can see, it's burning really good even in the rain. You know what? I'm gonna come back in about an hour and let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's been 40 minutes later. Look how well it's burning. Looks like a star inside of it. You see how hot inside of it? Woo! Flames are good, so it's gonna burn for another couple hours, easily. Okay, now it's burning out slowly. But as you can see, there's still lots of, of lots of flames left in that log. So yeah, no problems, it's going to burn for you for at least two, three hours, one log fire. Really, really nice. Base camp kettle. This is one of the really coolest design I've ever seen. So you build a fire inside of the kettle pretty much and the flame gonna go inside of the bottle of your kettle like this one. But the water will be all around the flame. So that way the water is supposed to boil really fast. So let's put to the test what this thing is all about. Okay, let's open it up like that. This is what you can expect whenever you buy one of these. By the way, they do sell them much smaller and you can buy a whole bunch of attachment to it, like grilling attachments and stuff like that. And it comes with a little holder, which is really nice. I wonder if it's actually going to resell. That's one of a kind, that's for sure. So I'm gonna build the fire, but you know what? Let me fill it up first. As you can see, really easy to fill it up with water. It holds a lot. I like the metal chain. 
holds it all together there is instruction which way you're supposed to cover it up so that way it's whistles just filled it up with water but it's hollow how cool is that so it holds all the water on the between of this hala bucket pretty much kettle this is very very unique i love it so and this looks like a racket stove pretty much especially when we're gonna put it inside you got a hole for the air and the flame going to come out here i'm just gonna go with regular twigs not going to even use any kind of tools to split any firewood just small twigs at first then bigger twigs one probably will do those people who haven't seen it guys these things are the best and this is a really cheap burn too but the quality is there and also once i put this thing over the flame like this it's not going to suffocate it or nothing if anything it's going to burn it better look at that the flames inside there the oxygen come into here but that's later let me build the fire first real quick okay it's burning pretty good the wood is a little bit moist but that's normal for the camping anyways so let's close it and you know what when i closed it look at that there's actually more flames now and now all the flame, the heat and all the water on the inside of this kettle. What a great idea. And once the water is starting to boil, pretty sure this side here is a whistle. So hopefully it will whistle whenever the water is ready to go. Gonna feed it a little bit more. Okay, let's take it out, see what the flame looks like. You see? The fire doing really good and if you let it go, it's kinda goes everywhere. Oh look, it's boiling. Oh no, I overfilled it with water. Let's try to take it out, some of the water. Ow, that's hot. So that way it whistles. You hear that, guys? That is really loud. I love it. Look at that steam goes everywhere. It's definitely time to take it off. You gotta be quick taking it off. Wow, look at that steam go everywhere. Let's try to put it on a fire again. It is kind of chilly out here. Look at that steam. Amazing. Okay, now I can take it off. And you gotta be very, very careful. Maybe use another stick to lift it up and pour it because this whole teapot is gonna be very, very hot. But how cool is that? This side here is not too hot, but it is contains really hot water inside of it. Let me push it back in, put it back on a flame. See what happens. Hydrolight Plushlight as seen on TV product right here. I actually ordered it because I saw a commercial on TV. The cool thing about this flashlight, the butter inside of it, all you have to do is put it inside of the glass of water, rain water, or even lake, whatever, and it will run up to 300 hours. Let's open it up and see what it's all about. Also, as you can see, there's a lantern option, which is really cool function there's a unique battery right here that runs on water so it opens like that turns into a 
a lantern and looks like very tiny LED but LEDs are so good nowadays they are really bright even tiny like that so this is really cool and there's a reflective mirror okay let's put it in see if it's going to turn on without putting water on and it's not on so now let's put these batteries into the water see what happens and boom just like that stick it in turn it over put it all the way maybe even pour it like it's raining there you go it says just keep it in the water for 10-12 seconds I think we get plenty vigorously shake to get rid of excess water do you hear all the water coming out I guess I gotta keep shaking till the water comes out Okay, water not coming out anymore, let's stick it into the Hydra flashlight, close it, there you go, okay, yeah, it works, right now it's kind of bright out here, really cloudy, so it's really hard to tell if this flashlight actually being bright or not, so let's go into the dark garage or dark room and see how well it looks like. Okay, it's really dark in this garage. If I turn it on, you see how there is one glow, much, much darker glow. And then there is a really bright dot over here. It's almost like a spotlight. Okay, it is very, very cheap flashlight, I tell you what. But again, it runs on the water, so what do you expect? But at least this way you don't need any power. You don't need to have any kind of batteries and only use it whenever you have to and then you'll have to replace the battery but also all you have to do is pull it up and I'll tell you what guys this option right here is way cooler and way brighter I mean again to the point as you can see you can see my face it is not very bright that's for sure they don't even tell you how many lumens you get in this thing pretty big thing for sure but as you can see it's 360 very very cool option right here and again the cool part about it is it does work hydro light the battery runs by water but once you moist it i'm pretty sure after 300 hours it's not going to work let me know in comments below what do you think about this flashlight this is a really unique gadget that's for sure because this battery pretty amazing very unique design but you know what guys, I probably will stick with the regular lithium batteries. That's way better, you get the brighter flashlight, but it's still very unique and cool invention. All you need is water to like charge up the uh, flashlight. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this thing. Hamig built-in sleeping bag. Let's see what it's all about. Then we're gonna simply take this out. This is just a holder and then We'll need to hang this hammock. Or is it a hammock? Let's figure this out. You know what? This is just a sleeping bag for the hammock. I really thought it comes with the hammock. False advertisement a little bit, but oh well. I should have read the description. Also, it opens up all the way. So you can use it like a blanket. Zipper a bit annoying but you gotta be patient with it and slow and boom you have here a regular big blanket beside that you can zip it up and also use it as a blanket over your hammock that's actually a pretty good idea so let's try it out I have here a really cheap hammock so what I'm gonna do is wrap it around with that hammock sleeping bag so I have here my hammock set up it's really cheap Super comfortable, but at night time it's going to get cold whenever you're camping out. So this is why you can buy this attachment. And what would you do is just open it up on one side right here. Then simply take off one side of your hammock. And this is going to be the legs with the zipper. Put it all the way through. Set your hammock back in and check this out. Oops. Hopefully it won't be too small for me. Okay, let's see if it's gonna be a fail or not. Right here, you can zip up, make it like a cocoon pretty much. 
starting to rain hopefully it's waterproof too or at least water resistant so i guess i open it up then sit down on this thing take my shoes off hopefully you guys can see put my legs all the way down and I can, wow no way did it stretch out and then i can close this up Wow, this is like a cocoon, I like it. It's actually stretched out quite a bit. I didn't think it's going to like cover myself up all the way because I'm 6'7 and as you can see, it works so well. Let's see how hard it is to get out of it. Just push it all the way down. It's not touching the dirt or anything. You can come out and actually walk out. So well with this even cheap hammock. You know guys, this is surprisingly pretty awesome. I thought for a second it would be way too short for me, but somehow whenever you lay down in it and put legs in it here and stage it out, it's even big enough for me and I'm 6'7. So if you guys 6'2, 6'3, it's gonna be perfect for you. The only question I have left, how hard it is to put it away. I guess I'll zip this up, both of them, so that way it will be easier with the corners. And there you go. Probably this is would be the best way. You know, it's cool that there is a double lock out right here. You lock one, not as tight, and then push it in. Let me show you. Close up. The first one, inner lock, boom. So that way it doesn't matter the way you fold it, you stuff it in there and then you put the second lock. Nice. Very weird sleeping bag. Let's see what this thing is all about. Obviously it's probably could compress a lot more, but sleeping bags, whenever you store them, you don't want to compress them. You only compress them before you go hiking. So check this out. As you can see, this is like a onesie sleeping bag made from all the regular sleeping bag materials, but it has legs and arms. Usually sleeping bags, it's like a little cocoon. You cannot move with your arms, but that's why at the same time you're keeping all your hands together and all your legs together. So you're creating kind of more warmth. But this is, if you not go out there in a super, super cold weather, could be very useful because you can get up in the morning and not worry about getting out, out of the sleeping bag. You just wear the whole thing. All you have to do is just unzip the legs right here and just leave them in the hammock or in a tent. Depends how you hike this one as well and i can put shoes on and not worry about making those things dirty but at the same time this is durable material so i'm pretty sure it's walkable in it but i wouldn't because it would bring a lot of dirt into your hammock now do one leg first put it back on my shoe so this is awesome definitely a really cool onesie i might if i get really cold in the house wear that sleeping bag inside of the house <laughs> boom oh no way this is so cool you look you have holes for hands and then you can close them off i wish there was some kind of velcro that it sticks together or if you have a shorter hands you can fold it more but you know what i have longer hands so i don't need that velcro this is right for me now i'm gonna zip up and one more here Oh wow, I already feel warmer. It is chilly outside. Check this out. Do I look good? I like that it's like not so big out here. It's pretty tight on my uh, body. So that way it doesn't look bad either. Okay. Just like a sleeping bag, except I have here hands and arm. Pretty awesome, huh? I kind of like it. That way whenever I wake up, I can walk around and still stay warm pull my hands out start the morning fire awesome let's see what it's going to look like whenever i'm going to try to lay down 
with my hammock into the sleeping bag. Take my shoe off. Put this thing. Woo! Put this thing back on, and I can even zip it up. I think. You know what? Surprisingly, this is a bit too small for me because when I lay down, now I cannot zip it up. Oh well. Okay guys, I put the leggings on, as you can see, it works now, this is awesome. All I had to do is just take off the suit, then put the leggings on, and then it's not so tight. As you can see, it's nice, I can't really sit too hard, because it might break it, but it's not too bad, it kind of pulls my back. So, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but again, I'm really, really tall, so this is why. If you're a little bit shorter than me and still tall, you still might end up good with this onesie sleeping bag. But anyway, super cool sleeping bag. I like it. What do you guys think? It's comfortable, it's warm, it's awesome. So I can wake up, walk around in the grass, hopefully there is no mud, so it's going to be no problem.